Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your entrepreneurship tutor, Professor Henry Buisa of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Yes, we made this Luya senior citizens who see a silver lining in the colonial era. Yes. But before we go into the story, the Luya, and in this video is clip, the Bukusu, love eating flying white ants that they call Chiswa. The Luya forefathers knew that these insects were good for their health. Today, science tells us that they represent a valuable source of protein and fat. A hundred grams serving of these insects provides 75% more calories than an equivalent amount of rump steak. Now, the Bukusu have a saying, Alimo kamake ne chiswa. Watch this Bukusu eating flying white ants, termites if you want, right as they fly from the ground. The luya is a telecast in luya. But then, watch again that as the termites or the ants come out of, the flying ants come out of the holes, there are other ants, the biting ants that kind of escort them onto the ground. So when they come on the ground, the flying, flying ants fly away. But the biting ants that escort them, soldiers, if you want, is like protect them. So as you eat the flying ants, you can also be beaten by the soldier ants or the crawling ants. And hence, they saying, Alimo kamake ne chiswa. Kamake are the biting ants. Chiswa are the flying ants. Chiswa is the delicacy that we eat. But for you to get that delicacy, you must risk getting beaten by the small ants. Watch. These people are eating. The ants come out of the flying ants come out of the ground. Before they fly, they are captured by this. There it is. They, we enjoy it. And now look. Look clearly or carefully. You'll see that as they come out to fly, they are the small white ants kind of the soldiers coming out also. Those are what we call kamake. The small ones that do not fly. And those ones can bite you. It's like they protect the flying one. Look, you can now see them clearer. So, the chiswa are the ones that are flying. The kamake are the ones that are crowding. So when you go there, be prepared to be beaten bitterly, but also enjoy the flying, the delicacy. Now, that can also be likened to the saying, every cloud has a silver lining. Now, if you say that every cloud has a silver lining, you mean that every sad or unpleasant situation has a positive side to it. That is exactly what the senior citizens were talked about. So, a silver lining. Look. Colonialism, pre-colonial, that is sad. But also, it brought schools. That's my school friend school, Kamsinga. That's like the silver lining. Railways were built. Yes, they opened up the interior. So, some silver lining. Now, we are told that colonialism had a huge impact on the lives of Africans. 
economic policies were adopted by Europeans who destroyed the colonies rather than help them. Africa was damaged economically, politically, and culturally. So we are told, and we read at that source, and we see them even to date. Africa's traditional lifestyle and culture were destroyed. The Europeans had no interest in traditional African culture and had no concern for the Africans. There were several negative aspects of colonialism that became evident after many African nations became dependent or independent. You can see this cartoon showing like Africa being really grabbed and destroyed by that. And then the founding father of Kenya, Mze Jomo Kenyatta, said, when the missionaries arrived, the Africans had the land and the missionaries had the Bible. They thought how to pray with our eyes closed. And when we opened them, yes, they had the land and we had the Bible. You can see the kamake. You know, the negative side. But then, at the other, actually the same source, Africa would most likely still be behind the rest of the world without colonialism, though. Some positive historians have pointed out that a medicine, education, improved infrastructure, Christianity, and boundaries. The growth of the African population was aided by the Western medicine introduced by Europeans. Africans were introduced to form education by Europeans. Yes. And another source, we are told that the impact of colonial period, partitioning of Africa, positive effect for Africa, schools and hospitals were built, economy was improved by new governments, roads and railroads were built, health was improved, health, health system, etc., the Berlin Conference set a specific date for the end of the slave trade. New technology elevated the standard of living. So, every cloud has a silver lining. This source tells us these are some of the silver linings. And now, to my senior citizens, let's listen to them. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Yes, these senior citizens identify an aspect they think was positive. They say, we had no clothes, no shoes. We had no good oil, both for cooking and using on the body. We never took tea. You can see some of the clothes, you know, a lady, you know. So, a silver lining. Every cloud has a silver lining. So this citizen recognized, yes, colonialism and pre-colonialism was bad, but there were things that uh, were beneficial. Colonialism brought uh, to, to us. So not everything was bad. Now, that is what we are being told by these senior citizens. So then, if we enjoyed it, like it, share it, subscribe, and please leave a comment. So, identify a silver lining in every problem that you face, won't you?